Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, which will be me setting up for my November budget in my Erin Condren monthly planner. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Chica and I do functional planning spreads in my passion planner. And I also do budgeting spreads in my Erin Condren monthly planner. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle up here. And of course, please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can support my channel and keep up to date with all of my content. Now, we are still in the middle of October, but I definitely need to get November set up so as some things are changing. So I need to set up my November budget so I can make these changes in my planner. And before I do that and we start the video, let me show you the kit and the patterns for November. So this is the kit for November. It's gorgeous. It's this snowdrops theme that I've also got in a weekly passion planner kit and this is the budget sheet and then this is the financial dashboard and then I'm using a paycheck budget so I've got two blank paycheck budgets here and then I've got the scripts here. We do one for hubby and one for myself. And you can also pick up the normal budget sheet, which looks similar to this. And this I use as my monthly breakdown, but the November budget is very similar to this layout. I only started using a paycheck budget in October and I don't think I could go back. Your fixed expenses and your variable expenses alongside with it. And then we have debt tracker, the savings tracker, sinky funds and the weekly check-in and I normally design a totals strips page and I forgot to do it for this video so I'm going to use the one from October it would have been very similar this probably would have been a deeper yellow but that's fine and then I have a confessions page where I list out anything on my wish list anything that I bought that was unbudgeted and impulsive with a washi strip there and then we have the stalker stats which also has a washi and then has strips for this month last month and the three month average and then these are the metrics that we track every month where we compare versus last month and our three month average and then these are the thin washi patterns for this month all of my patterns are perpetual so you can use these in any month and you just choose which month you would like when you're purchasing and I will update these. My cat is also in the room, so he will probably come and mess stuff up. So let's get into it. This is what October looked like. Very gorgeous pattern. Probably my favorite pattern to date. So then let's go into November. So this is the November expense tracker and pull out some washi for the bottom. I think I'm going to go for the yellow. And then we're gonna go into my monthly breakdown page, which is the page before the dashboard. So these two washies are from October. I didn't update the pattern, but otherwise it would have been this pattern or one of these three. And we'll go into the dashboard and this is the sheet. And again, I would change this to whichever month you would like to use. Oh, 
I've got everything together. So this is the pink version for this month. So that's what you would have got with the previous page. And my cat is here to ruin my day. He's gonna kick all of my stickers. So we'll have one paycheck on one page. Okay, so then the next page is our debt and savings tracker, and I put these on one page. And then I'm gonna put another washi. And then I drop one line and add my savings tracker. And then I'm just gonna put another washi at the bottom because why not? And then for this page, we'll be doing the sinking funds. And I know that we have added new ones. So 6.25, so I need to add in another row. stop recording so I've just finished putting in the last some light washi matching washi now we'll be going to the weekly check-in and then I'm using total strips which is an add-on and I'm actually using the October pattern well the October color but this would have just been a deeper yellow to match this yellow so it's just a little bit lighter but Otherwise, that's the colour this would be. You can go ahead and add any extra washi if you would like. I think I normally don't do that, or do I do that? No, I don't normally do that, so that's fine, but go with whatever your style is. And then that kind of means that I've got one page that is going to be blank, because normally I would have a week five check-in and then a, a little note section. So I'm gonna skip this page and then the two pages I have left to set up is this confessions page, which I normally do there. And then I have the stalker stats where I compare how we did this month versus last month and the three month average on the very last page. So this page will probably be a notes page, I guess. So let's go into this one. I could pull everything on this and then just have the last page as blank, but
So then let's actually fill this in. So this video is going to have a paycheck budget and then it's also going to have um, a digital envelope stuffing of my paycheck because I get paid first. I'm going to leave a little space here for my envelope stuffing and let's go. And then so this is eight pounds. This is, I want to say 175, yeah, 175. This is 100. Um, 57, 90, 288, 24. Pet insurance is 23.55 for our cat. Windows is 13 pounds. And then phone is 60 pounds 60. And then subscriptions, I think we just add them all up. I've got 90 pounds 90 here. So I'm just gonna do 90 pounds 90. Commute is zero at the moment, and then apps, I've got, so I've included apps in this subscription, so that's fine. And then cushion is the amount of money we would like to leave in our accounts, and I contribute 100, and hubby does the same. So the monthly total goal is 200, but we share that between the two of us. And then the aim is to have a thousand pounds in both of our accounts as like a float. And then we get into the variable categories. The budget for groceries is 350. Fun is 110. Pets is 120. Yep. So normally we add in another 100 pounds, but we're going to stop doing that now because I think the spending can tail off now that we've got most of his treats and toys and things like that. Household and beauty, 20 pounds. Miscellaneous is 140. Home decor is 24.38. And then I've removed medical from mine and I've actually added it onto hubbies. So let me just use my mouse. Okay, so taking the pets off and he's going to pay for medical now. Basically added in um, some new sinking funds. So that's where that money is going. And then fun is 110 and unbudgeted is zero. We budget zero for it. And then the November paycheck for hubby. We don't share our mortgage, gas and electric is 130. Council tax is 150, I believe. Yep, 150. The water has gone up because we've got a leaky toilet. So I'm going to budget for the maximum, which is what it was this month, which is 72. And then cable is also 72. Car payment is 491.93. Hubby's phone, he's I'm going to be getting the new iPhone, so we're going to have to tweak this budget again. Maybe I'll, I'm just going to leave that one blank for now. Gym is zero, MB&A is 60, 69, and then Tesco is 40 pounds. Squishion is 100, and then the direct debit for the puppies, vet plan, care plan is going from Hubby's account. And then fuel is 105. Car maintenance is 20 and medical is 60. So that is his paycheck. And then let's just fill in. Some of this is duplicated, but I don't have the beginning balances yet because I haven't closed the budget from October. So I'm just going to put these numbers in again. Tesco is 40. MBNA is like MS is 14488 because we have a tiny snowball. And then bed is 5790. IMAC is 288. And I can't fill in this yet until the end of the month because the amount that we have saved, it depends on how well we're doing that month. But we aim to have put away 131 that's like non-negotiable and then anything on top of that is 
what the final amount will be. And the same for the savings challenge, we try and put away £50 every week with a goal of two to 250 a month. And then the cushion goal is £200, but we need to dip into our cushion, we will do. And then sinking funds. So I would like to add on a new sinking fund. And I think if you're into planners and you will understand, but I don't think I've seen anyone have a sinking fund for them, but I definitely need one because I spend way too much money. The house, we have quite a few different Sinking funds rolled up into one like car insurance and Amazon Prime, but in total it is 144.75. Okay, so for the wedding it's 158. I'm just gonna double check what we did. So when we reach our goal for a sinking fund, we will reallocate the money into another sinking fund or like savings or something. Gifts we add in 60 pounds. Birthdays is 42. Christmas is 30 pounds. And then sales is £30. We've already spent all of our money for this pot for the whole year. It was Prime Day and we bought a Shark Hoover. Diwali, we put away 33 a month. And then I'm going to skip down to the ones that are coming out of my paycheck. So then we've got Enzo's third party here. And then I'm putting away £50 a month. And then the rest are from Hubby's for NFL 2021 puts away 74 pounds annual social we stopped putting money towards that and we've reallocated it to wedding uh, well we've got haircut not adding any more in psn online is 10 pound for two subscriptions and then sorry it's nine pounds ah, that's fine and then 10 pound for contact lenses and then clothing is 50 pounds and then footwear is £20. Home maintenance is £30, which is good because we need to replace the toilet. And then car deposit is, oh my God, that is so not straight. Eh, £136. So that's a lot of money that we're putting this away for like future spending. And then I think that is it. I still have to go and fill in all of the variable categories, but I will do that off camera and i just wanted to show you like the confessions page i sort of was starting to wonder if it was actually helping me but i think it really is helpful to have a place to jot down anything that you really want or anything you've bought and you know your feelings about it as cheesy as it sounds when you look back on it then you'll understand if you're going through something or you were suddenly inspired to do this we've bought a lot of stuff so I had a lot of stuff to write there but for me i think it is really working so i'm going to carry on having it i don't necessarily think that having this page stops me from purchasing things because i still have unbudgeted and impulsive purchases i feel like it's like adding to your car when i put it in here like i'm like oh yeah i did want this thing in do you know what if you still have things on your wish list like give them to your significant other or your parents if it can be a reasonable christmas gift if you've already bought the things then just put it down here and at least you're acknowledging the fact that this has happened and you recognize it was impulsive or unbudgeted or both so that's my two cents on that and let me just give you a flip through of the november budget so we've got the expense tracker we've got my monthly breakdown we've got the financial dashboard for the month paycheck one paycheck two debt and savings tracker sinking fund and then we go into the weekly check-ins and as there's only four weeks i've kept this page blank for like notes because i actually really like to have a spot for notes and anything that i need to write down or work out it's nice to have it all of the scribbles within that month actually and we've got the confessions page and then we end on the stalker stats so that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed that make sure you hit that subscribe button so you are up to date with all of my content follow me on instagram for daily laughs and deep thinking posts on thursdays it seems i'll put my instagram handle here i'd love to have you join my family i'll see you guys in the next video bye